Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over Golden Nugget Online Gaming and their report for their financial results for the second quarter and the first half of 2021. So just to reiterate, guys, not a financial advisor. Make sure that you do your own research before investing. Also, if you find value in tonight's video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy this content and hit the notification bell, that way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content so guys let's dive right on into this bad boy got a lot of information to go over on this article here that says revenue for the second quarter was 31.7 million dollars representing an increase of 27.7 percent compared to 24.8 million during the second quarter of 2020. revenue for the first half of 2021 increased 38.6 percent to 58.4 million compared to 42.2 million during the first half of 2020. Net loss for the second quarter was 1.6 million compared to the net income of 0.1 million in the prior year. Net income for the first half of 2021 was 68.1 million compared to the net income of 4.3 million during the prior year period. Adjusted EBITDA for the second quarter was 3.8 million compared to the adjusted EBITDA of 8.5 million for the second quarter of 2020. For the first half of the year, adjusted EBITDA was 7.4 million compared to the adjusted EBITDA of 14.4 million of the first half of 2020. The decline in adjusted EBITDA compared to the pri prior year is primarily attributed to the growth investments in new markets such as Michigan. The active first-time depositors for the second quarter grew 110% compared to the second quarter of 2020, while 12-month active depositors grew 108%. For the first half of the year, AFTD grew 313% compared to the first half of 2020. So Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Tillman Fertitta said, We are proud to have achieved another solid quarter driven by the strength of our new customer growth both in the established and newer markets golden nugget online gaming continues to successfully execute our national expansion while concurrently strengthening our capabilities and product offerings with key partnerships in michigan we grew the market share <clears throat> and are very pleased with the trajectory of growth in the early quarters of our operation we expect similar trajectories of our plan launches in virginia west virginia and pennsylvania later this year in addition, our partnership with Boom Entertainment will only strengthen our award-winning contest offerings. We're increasingly encouraged by the result and look forward to executing on the significant and growing market opportunities available to us. And it goes on to kind of give you some more information. It says technology and content updates. GNOG is pleased to announce it signed a partnership with Boom Entertainment, a premier provider of online gaming and sports products in the United States, which includes a minority equity investment, preferred and exclusive content, bespoke game development and market access rights in Ohio. This partnership will give GNOG the ability to offer more content at a faster pace and targeted to our player base to enhance the player experience. The GNOG Android app is now available on the Google Play Store across New Jersey and Michigan. New Jersey uh, reports work continues on completing the 1,800 foot square foot expansion of our live dealer studio, which will increase our capacity from 18 to 33 tables. The studio expansion is expected to be live by the end of the third quarter in 2021. Uh, news from New Jersey it says it successfully migrated to advanced technical stack and hosting facility in New Jersey on July 21st, 2021. In Michigan, it deployed 103 games from nine different suppliers on the web, iOS, and Android in the second quarter. Launched with three new suppliers, including IGT, AGS, and Inspired Gaming. Michigan also reports successfully launched Live Dealer in Michigan on July 22nd. Among the first wave of operators growing our online casino offering. Woo! Okay, here we go. So the business update. As you all know, Golden Nugget has entered into a definite agreement with DraftKings, pursuant to which DraftKings will acquire GNOG in an all-stock transaction with an implied equity value of approximately $1.56 billion, subject to approval by GNOG shareholders. 
receipt of required regulatory approvals and satisfaction of other customary closing conditions. The transaction is expected to close in the first quarter of 2022. So they'll uh, email everybody whenever you have to vote on that, I'm sure. Uh, executed an agreement with the Grand Canyon Resort Corporation, wholly owned by the Hualapi tribe, <laughs> for market access in Arizona subject to regulatory application approvals. Signed a market access agreement with Dayton Real Estate Ventures operating the Hollywood Casino Dayton and owned by Penn National Gaming to offer both online casino and online sports in Ohio legislation and regulations permitting. Ohio is forecasted to be more than $1 billion online, $1 billion online casino market at maturity, similar to neighboring Michigan and Pennsylvania. With the addition of Ohio and Arizona, GNOG now has access mar market access <clears throat> agreements in 14 states representing about 33% of the United States population. It won the EGR North American Mobile Operator of the Year for the second year in a row and marketing campaign of the year. Hey, I reported on that. Launched our flagship $1 million wagering race in July with a top prize of $100,000, our biggest and most successful monthly promotion. Also signed sponsorships with the PGA Rocket Mortgage Classic for 2021 and 2022 with Front Row Motorsports to sponsor the number 38 car in Michigan and Virginia NASCAR Cup Series race and the Detroit City Football Club throughout the 2022 season. President Thomas Winter went on to say, GNAW continues to grow strong, uh, show strong growth with our results in the first half of the year in Michigan. We wore more than tripled our market share since launching, which validates our steady return on investment focused growth investments. In the second quarter, we grew gross gaming revenue 99% over the first quarter, while the rest of the market only grew 35%. In July, the positive trend continued uh, with the GGR over 5.3 million, an increase of 32% over the monthly average in the second quarter, making GNOG the fifth largest iGaming operator in the state with a market share of 5.7%. In New Jersey, where market revenues had been boosted by the pandemic last year, we were able to still see growth net revenues by 8.9% in the first six months of 2021 compared to the prior year period. Thomas Winter added, our latest agreements highlighted yet another big step in executing on the market expansion plans by adding the states of Ohio and Arizona to our list of potential future markets and we look forward to launching online casinos and sports when legislation and regulations permit. GNOG's focus on innovation and exclusive games is also on full display with our partnership with Boom Entertainment. Our players can look forward to continued innovation from our best in-class online casino. Additional information, net loss of the second quarter in 2021 includes a gain on warrant derivative liabilities of $8.9 million in stock-based compensation of $3 million, whereas no such gain or expense were recognized in the previous year. Net income for the first half of 2021 includes a gain on warrant derivative liabilities of $90 million, a gain on the tax receivable liability of $1.2 million, a, and debt extinguishment expenses of $2.2 million associated with early repayment of $10.6 million of the company's term loan during the first quarter of 2021. Stock-based compensation expenses were $5.3 million for the first half of 2021, whereas no such expenses were recognized in the prior year. Man, they have a lot of stuff going on with this company here, folks. And the fact that it is still under $20 is kind of comical, in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the charts, guys, and let's see what they're telling us. All right, guys, looking at Golden Nugget Online Gaming, ticker symbol GNOG. Remember, this is basically kind of following DraftKings at this point. Uh, whatever DraftKings is doing, this stock is going to do as well. As you see, when we got to undervalued status, we knew that we were going to start selling off, of course, and uh, we are actually doing that now. So we're going to actually look at DraftKings to see kind of what they're doing to kind of get an idea of what we may do moving forward. So... DraftKings pulling back, and of course, Golden Nugget's going to pull back as well. So your support on DraftKings is uh, $49.98, so about $50. Bucks. If it falls down there and bounces 
off of 50 and comes back up, that's a great sign. Uh, right now, it's currently at fair value. We are in a bearish pattern. So back to GNOG. If we look here, current support of about 1698, current resistance of 1910 in a bearish pattern, but we are overvalued. So we have some uh, potential room to go down unless DraftKings decides to go buck wild and start moving up again, then we can uh, easily get back into overvalued. But again, this stock is basically going to follow DraftKings guys from here on out, but it has so many good things going for it. Again, the fact that it is under $20 is it just blows my mind as many good things they have going for it so anyway i just wanted to provide that update on earnings and all of the other updates that golden nugget has going for it so drop a like drop a comment let me know what your thoughts are moving forward for this stock and of course for DraftKings and uh, golden nugget merging together other than that guys we'll catch you in the next one all right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And if you enjoy our content, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.